After previewing new music at a private listening party, Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign's upcoming album Vultures 2 is not just gearing up to be one of the craziest albums that rap has seen in quite some time, but it very well could be Kanye's best in years. Now when it comes to Vultures 2, despite all the chaos around the project because Ye didn't drop the record when he originally promised, as Ye has now come back out of hiding and has given us confirmation that the second installment in his Vultures trilogy is dropping very soon. There is more hope than ever that this album is not just going to be released eventually, but that it will actually come out in the next few days. Now if Kanye posting about the album and releasing its cover wasn't enough to assure you that his next studio album is moments away from being released, the private listening party that Ye and Ty had to preview their next record shows us that Vultures 2 is not just nearing a state where it's almost complete, but that it's also going to be even more ambitious than the first installment. From new cutting edge bangers to passionate deep cuts, Vulture sounds like it'll be the ultimate Kanye West album in 2024 as it's putting his entire all time great skill set on display. Now with most recent Kanye albums, we have seen him dive into various pockets of his artistic genius and build out entire new musical universes through these soul ideas or sounds, but as we listen to the absolute storm of music that is said to be on Vultures 2. This record really seems like it's going to show us where Kanye fully stands at as an artist 20 years into his career. While Vultures 1 began to do this, as it did give us a dynamic experience filled with a lot of creative bangers and even a few moments of lyrical brilliance, here Kanye seems to be leaning in heavier into both of these aspects to ultimately give us an experience that is overall way more rounded and compelling and considering the cover of Vultures 2 features a picture of Ty Dolla Sign's brother who is in jail for life. The artwork alone compared to the first one is only further proof that the stakes for this album have never been higher. Now in order to build this spectacle up for Vultures 2, Kanye is putting together tracks that sound more grandiose and unpredictable than ever both in terms of their soundscapes and also with the artists featured on them. As Carnival has become not just the biggest song from Vultures 1, but one of the biggest tracks in the entire world. It seems like Ye and Ty are going to continue to ride with the track's collaborators in Rich the Kid and Playboy Cardi as they both make appearances on this album as well. Now while usually when artists make a massive hit song, they try to recapture the aspects of what made it so special in the first place as they move forward. This has been the exact opposite direction that Ye and crew have been taken for Vultures 2 because while the album feels like a natural continuation from what we saw on its predecessor, it's still pushing boundaries in every sense of the word. One of the tracks on this record that immediately established to us that Kanye is making these musical productions more grand, complex, and exciting than ever is Let Me Chill Out which takes a wide array of moving pieces and infuses them into the Vultures universe as Kanye has taken a song that was originally between Take Off, Rich the Kid, and NBA Youngboy of all people and he spiced it up with Ty to turn it into an insane banger with so many different elements that are all working to deliver one unforgettable moment. Now while this track is the one that sticks out on paper as the most insane, this is really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the potential greatness that this album is holding because as Kanye previewed and teased even more tracks that he has been cooking up for this record, things only got crazier. No moment embodies the insane way Kanye is creating for this album more than Field Trip, which teams up Ye and Ty with Don Tolliver, Lil Durk, and of course Playboy Cardi for an anthem that infuses all of their signature traits into one ethereal banger and after years of seeing Kanye scale down his new songs in terms of of their structure and length, but most importantly, with how many different rappers he was integrating and featuring on new songs, seeing Ye now implement himself and four entire other artists into one cohesive track indicates that he is once again focusing on using his skills to arrange songs that pack a much more massive punch than most songs ever can. Now while all of this may lead you to think that the old Kanye may be coming back, this isn't quite the case as Kanye has stated very clearly that he will never try to be the man he used to be and while this Ye will never have the same charm of his earlier albums. Still, from what we have heard, a lot of cuts on Vultures 2 do get a lot more human as Ye taps into the lyrical side that so many people have wanted to see from him. If any cut is reinventing that old Kanye magic, it's Take Off Your Dress which is a surreal cut that showcases Ye rapping over a hypnotizing soul sample beat all while he delivers a lyrical performance that while not being his most meaningful still shows us that he is more wit and bravado than ever. Now speaking of wit, if Kanye's lyrical presence is not enough to satisfy you, Ye has brought out some of the best MC 
MCs on the planet for this project as Lil Wayne makes an appearance on the track Lifestyle, which considering that this will be the duo's first collaboration in years, this is bound to be another moment that pushes Ye into absolute peak form as we see two of the most renowned hip-hop artists of all time grace the mic together. Now, as Kanye has worked on all this new material for Vultures 2 and has challenged and pushed himself to innovate his craft, also he can continue to captivate mass audiences in a time where the world is all waiting on his next move. While Kanye is still clearly able to create new music that is better than 99% of other artists, as the sporadic and unpredictable pace that Ye has created music at over the years has left him with so many amazing songs that have been trapped in the vault for ages. As Kanye attempts to go all out with these remaining Vultures projects, it seems like he is also going back to some of his older tracks as he puts final touches on them to perfect them for Vultures 2. Kanye directly showed us that he's not hesitating to give some of his lost media a second life as he previewed the track Fighting Fire, which was originally supposed to be on his scrapped 2015 album God's Country, and with Ye almost going back 10 years into his career for a song that's expected to end up on this record. It's showing us that more than ever, Ye is pulling out all the stops to make sure that Vultures 2 is the statement that is as powerful as he wants it to be. I think the fact that Kanye's been so open to infusing all of these aspects of his artistry together is what's putting Vultures in a position to offer so much to listeners, and while Ye's versatile and ever-changing production and songwriting are heavily responsible for this, one aspect that seemed to be defining the feel of Vultures 2 even greater than its predecessor are all of the collaborators. Now, at this point, Ty Dolla Sign really deserves a medal for sticking by Kanye's side this long, as creating so much music in a time where Ye is being pulled in every single direction creatively is definitely no easy task. But as Ye has continued to find himself in a position where he seems to be more in tune with many of his most vital musical skills, I think a lot of the credit for Ye getting so focused definitely has to go to Ty, but beyond just him. It seems like the entire creative circle around Kanye is only getting stronger as more artists line up to join forces with him. Whether it's featuring Project Pat and using his 3-6 Mafia influence, or it's turning what was once a standard trap song into an insane experimental thriller with the vision of JPEG Mafia, the artists who have been working on Vultures have never cared more about making the best record possible, and this is what's made everything we have heard from the album seem so exciting in the first place. Playboy Cardi is once again playing a major role on this project as he will have multiple features, and right alongside Cardi this time, Future is also on a handful of tracks, and as these rap Rappers help to channel a certain unmatched energy out of Kanye. Having so much involvement from artists like these only raises the bar even higher. Now, outside of these features, there are so many other rappers who could still appear on this project, with one of the most exciting ones being Denzel Curry, who attended Kanye's private listening party, and as Denzel has a great friendship with both Ty Dolla Sign and JPEG Mafia. It's amazing to say that we are on the brink of seeing one of the most gifted and underrated MCs in all of hip-hop potentially have the shot of a lifetime to rap alongside Ye and beyond Zell himself. Rappers like Lil Baby and Young Thug are expected to be on the record as well in moments that could end up becoming show stealers. Now speaking of show stealers, no other track on Vultures 2 is more sought after right now than everybody with Ye, Ty Dolla Sign, Charlie Wilson, and Lil Baby, and as long as they got the Backstreet Boys sample cleared this time, this upcoming album is going to be led by the charge of one of the most anticipated rap songs in years, which I'm sure will do wonders for its performance. Now overall, as we see Kanye work with so many artists and integrate so many styles directly into the DNA of Vultures 2. We can see that this project is going to represent the ultimate version of Kanye West to the world, and as it does this, I think that one of the biggest takeaways throughout this entire project will come from seeing the more human and emotional sides of Ye. From his rapping performances to soulful instrumental loops, it seems like Kanye is taking one step closer to the world, all in order so that he can show us once again who he really is behind all of the antics, and while I think a truly personal Ye album is still far away from us, Vultures 2 is gearing up to break even more cracks in the wall between Ye and the audience he's been closed off to, and with a song on this record teaming up Ye with his lifelong best friend Kid Cudi. It seems like a moment like this, where brothers are reuniting, will be able to provide listeners with some of the most beautiful and compelling moments not just from this album, but really in all of Ye's catalog. But with all this said, with all of this hype and all of this excitement indicating that Vultures 2 could very well become the album of the year. Right now, all we can do is wait and hope that as Kanye and Ty continue the rollout, it will drop sooner than later. So let me know, are you hyped for Vultures 2 and are you convinced that it'll be better than the first? Please tell me in the comments below and if you want to see my ranking of every Kanye album up to Vultures 1, check out the suggested video.